right. Wow, does it feel good to be here? Hey, thank you so much for being here. We invite you all to let everything go behind you and be present and be free and be here now with us. And we welcome you to join the three of us as we go into a world, as we trip into the world of Trillion Green. <laughs>
So, uh, a little background story. Way back in the late 1900s, this band was born in the Oregon Country Fair. You may have heard of it. But we grew up in the grunge scene in Seattle. And we played with those grunge bands in those grunge clubs, and we went up there with these acoustic instruments, these classical instruments, and we'd be surrounded by amplifiers and drums and electric guitars and basses and people dressed in leather, a whole scene, man, it was beautiful. And we'd walk up there and they would be looking at us like, what in the heck is this? And then we'd start doing our thing, because the reality is, we are a grunge band. We're just acoustic. And thus began the acoustic revolution, and so that was our secret.
So the Pacific Northwest gets a lot of rain. So we have two songs about rain. That was one of them. That was Oregon rain.
country fair. I'm not kidding. We would form our own little trio marching band. It was the Red Sea marching band. We'd part the crowds as we would march through. Right. So it started off just Jared was like, all right, we got to clear the path, man. We got to find a place to busk. Court coming through. That's right. And I'd be behind him like, what the hell? I got my flute in my hand. Might as well play it. So I started playing it. Christine strapped on the cello. Wow. Yeah. Strap on cello. On. And we marched, we marched, and uh, you know. The, so this this next song is kind of a it's a marching beat.
Jared Kaplan on the drums.
That's Christine Gunn on the cello. Yeah, she uh, weaves a spell on all of us when she plays that thing. This instrument is a bass walkabout dulcimer. Has anybody ever seen somebody play this before? Yeah. Have you? Oh, yes. All right, then I'll be the second best you have ever seen. Because Burke Mulvaney is clearly the best. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's part banjo, part mandolin, part sitar. No offense to the sitar player. Uh, part oud, uh, part 12-string guitar, and uh, it put a spell on me the first time I played it, and that's the first bonus. The second bonus is it gives these guys a break from the flute. And except for me, most of us do need a little bit of a break from the flute from time to time, I think. <laughs>
No. Yeah, we got a lot of beautiful music coming, so stick around and hang out, and uh, we're looking forward to hanging out with y'all and jamming throughout the night.
Thanks so much, everybody.